Namaste, love and light, star seeds. <clears throat> I hope all is well with you guys. I feel like someone is taking like a huge breath here, like a huge sigh, like somebody's receiving some bad news. Picked up a download, all right, um, a few minutes ago, okay, and I typed up on my laptop. Someone is receiving a lot of bad news, star seed. I'm seeing a letter with their bad karma written all over it. Like someone is receiving a letter of karma, okay, a letter of bad karma. That's what I say, a letter of bad karma. All right, and I'm getting this letter explained. Whatever they did to you resulted to them receiving bad karma and them owing karmic debt, <clears throat> okay? They owe you a lot, all right, of karmic debt here. All right, someone is getting served at their house slash, um, yeah, somebody's getting served at their house and also picked up um, someone wants you to get served as well. Somebody could be um, go, getting arrested for slashing someone's tires. That literally just came to my mind. Someone could have slashed someone else's tires and, you know, someone is pressing charges on that person. That's part of the bad news. They could be getting served because they slashed somebody's fucking tires. It's like this is someone that was harassing someone else. All right. It's like somebody is saying I'm tired of harassment and they're like pressing charges against someone that was harassing them. All right, they could, this could have been like a karmic female doing, you know, all of this over a man. She could have sliced his tires, could have sliced your tires, doing all type of crazy shit because this man left that out in the cold. <clears throat> all right, you and your, or this DM could be pressing charges here. All right. You don't even need the cards to read tarot I'm getting. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't need the cards to pick up downloads, okay? You don't need the cards to read tarot. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, you guys are intuitive, okay? You don't need the cards, all right, to read a person, okay? So maybe somebody was trying to say, like, your intuition is whack. You know, you need the cards, and you don't need the cards. They need the cards. They need to stay away from the cards. Yeah, look, they a thief. Oh, I'm telling you, y'all was dealing with somebody that was wicked okay hold on because um yeah so <clears throat> this person owes a lot of karmic debt because they were stealing this could be spiritually stealing from you y'all my nail fell off i forgot to glue it back <laughs> all right so about the the year 24 2024 is significant here all right, I feel like this karma, this karmic's karma gonna be fully served by next year. They have a lot of karma that's gonna be hitting them this year, y'all, and it's finally gonna be like done and and finished 2024. All right, this person is like, I guess they was thinking they wasn't gonna owe you any karma debt if they stole from you spiritually. All right, and they definitely did here. Yeah, they got like bad changes coming in. All right. It's like these karmas could have expected something good to happen, but something bad happened. Like someone is going to jail. They're being judged. Someone is like going to be facing a judge here. This could be God, okay? A karmic is facing God. All right, they have to face God because what they, whatever this karmic did to this wealthy man or you, okay? You and this wealthy man. I feel like a, a masculine energy is very significant here because behind adjudication is main male, mature man, well, wealthy man, mature man, and main man, okay? Y'all had, y'all could have like a community of karmics attacking your masculine here. And God is judging all these karmics because of what these karmics are trying to do to your divine masculine here. Wow. I feel like it was a female trying to say that she was you and, she, and, and that you was trying to... Wait. Okay. This is the vibe I'm getting. She was trying to say that whatever energy you have within you is hers and you trying to steal her life and you trying to steal her look and all this extra stuff. She lied on you. I'm getting, she's trying to steal your image here, your imagery I'm getting, okay? Your imagery, whatever you're doing in the industry, she's trying to steal that, your titles. She's trying to be like you, all right? Because she wants to manifest certain wealth like how you have. This is your birthright. I'm getting, you guys are going to die wealthy here and pass your legacy on to your children. She wants that. She wants what God has chosen for you. That's why I said the Jezebel has bad karma, all right? Death judgment on her, okay? Look, she's being judged for trying to judge you. This karmic is shit. For her to sit up here and judge you and she is shit here. All right, some of y'all could be 30 or in your 30s. This karma, or 32, because I have 30 with adjudication and two. All right, something about your Saturn return is significant. I feel like Saturn is blessing you to Saturn return. Honestly, you're going to receive a huge blessing. Why are these karma is trying to slow down your Saturn's return? Okay, your Saturn's return could be coming up this year. All right, they said it, it usually starts around the age 26, 27. All right, 
like you like Saturn is blessing you because you cleared a lot of your karmic debt. All right, you're clearing karma, you're learning your lessons, you're disciplining yourself, you're you're following order, the rules, okay? Like you're so you're gonna be blessed. Your journey is blessed, and these karmic community karmics cannot follow you. You may have a community that follows you, okay? A positive community. This could be like, you know, for example, I have my star seeds. You guys can have something like that. All right. You guys are healers here. You could be guiding a collective and your karmic is jealous of the, of that. They're trying to say that's not for you, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Even this third party here. I feel like the third party watches you and look at you confused. Like, she knows she's stuck, okay? She stinks. She's assed out. Okay, she is assed out. All right, yeah, somebody, a karmic family is in trouble, too. All right, I feel like the community of karmics, their family is in trouble here. Yeah, I feel like somebody in their family is going to die. This is what they they had wishing for you, mm -hmm. wishing for one of your family members to die. Or God forbid, you know, obviously, always God forbid, but I hate saying these things. But you're like your kid dying, like, yo, they're wild. They're wild, even your lover. They were trying to kill you, your kids, and your lover. This is like a whole murder spree. Like, bitch, you crazy. You is a murderer. This bitch, why this bitch got death coming very quick for her. She may be the one that's dying. Maybe her family going to have to bury her ass. What the hell is wrong with her? I'm getting she's playing with burial magic here, this graveyard magic. Look, with a, listen, with this mature man, I'm getting like with a mature spirit. This could be like Papa Legba. I'm getting Papa Legba specifically, and he's not working for her. He allowed her death magic to work on her and whoever else she's tied to, whoever else she love. This bitch got bad karma coming. I'm telling you, she could feel it. It's on the way. All right, her bad karma is on the way. And she talked a whole bunch of nonsense and that shit circled back around onto her. All right. She is receiving a letter of bad karma. And she don't like this. She don't like that she getting sued. Somebody's getting sued, Star Seeds. I'm telling you, Saturn is here to deliver and collect. Okay, that's what I'm getting as well. Not just the Reaper, Saturn too. It's time for you to learn your lesson. You want to ascend to Jupiter? Learn your lessons. All right, you was not about to chill out with the guru, the spiritual guru Jupiter until your ass learned some lessons, until your ass sit the fuck down and do what it is that God told you to do. Follow order and structure. What the hell? All right, we have the Queen of Cups. You guys are intuitive. I, I, I'm getting they coming for you because you graceful, but them they're not supposed to come for you because you graceful, because you holy. All right, we have the hermit here, okay? I feel like these karmic is like they want to separate from you, but a part of them can't because uh, this is the vibe I'm getting. It's like they're obsessed. It's like they want to separate from you, but they can't because they're so obsessed with you. All right, and then they say things like, I just wish you would just detach from me, but you're not even attached to them. You drifted from them. Yeah, look, the, but the devil, they're tricking and lying to them. They're lying to themselves and they're tricking themselves into believing that you are attached to them when it's really them attached to you. My gosh. Something did not work out in the past for this stupid ass karmic, so now they're mad at you, okay? Yeah, and I feel like with the sun, they're trying to expose you and say that you're the bad guy, but people know that this karmic is lying, and they're trying to flip it and say, no, you're lying, you're lying. This karmic is weak. They're trying to cut you out. I feel like a karmic wants you to lose your kid. She feel like you'll be hurt if you lose your kid. She's going to die. That's what she's going to do, and, and it's almost like a part of the, the bitch don't care if she dies. That's what she said, and I don't care if I die as long as you get karma for doing nothing to her. All right, and I feel like, you know, she's mad because you standing side by side with your divine masculine and she got nobody. For a lot of you guys, this bitch may not even know who your masculine is, but she know that you with somebody. All right, and for others, you guys, all right, take it how it resonates, all right? This is your masculine's ex, okay, and she's still obsessed. All right, or this is a random bitch that's, like, coming for your person. She could be trying to say that you want her man and you with your man. All right, but I'm getting, oh, my God, this bitch is crazy here. Look, ten of pentacles here. I feel like you and your person is focused on building a legacy, creating a, a bloodline together, a, a bloodline of treasures, okay? 
your children are like treasures here all right and um i'm getting egyptian children wow comedic children here all right i feel like that's what you're working on i feel like your your dm is working on removing this jezebel out like getting her, her detached here this could even be a masculine as well all right he's attached to you this could be your ex and he got third parties doing weird shit too all right she's trying to destroy your man because she thinks you're trying to destroy her and your ex she's stupid all this get back shit all right somebody does not have the ten of pentacles like something like somebody think they do and they don't all right and, and you're heading towards um the ten of pentacles here your future you got big people trying to follow you because you're heading towards this ten of pentacles yeah and they're, and they're trying to fight over it fight over your birthright we keep getting this energy why they keep fighting over it it's like they trying to say like they know it's theirs like it, they're children y'all dealing with karmics that are children even if they're like a lot older all right but um like i said her her karma is on its way all right she was trying to attack your spiritual marriage and i feel like she literally got locked up for trying to attack your spiritual marriage all right for a lot of you guys she was trying to lock up you and your person and that shit backfired look courthouse she was trying to send y'all to court and y'all taking her to court for harassment Y'all are taking her to court for harassment. I'm getting sexual harassment. All right, this could even be spiritual harassment. This could be like, you know, spiritually, you know, you and your person is filing, you know, well, pressing charges against this bitch in, in the astral realm. All right, because she is harassing you guys in the astral. Could be, you know, trying to attack him in the astral and you in your person, attack you and your person. Okay, try to play around with sex magic. That's where the sexual har harassment comes about. Maybe she's using sex magic to try to rail him in. All right, this bitch got charges being pressed against her. Just know that, all right? And this could even be in the 3D. People is pressing charges on her, all right, because she's crazy. But this is the biggest thing. My biggest thing is that I feel like her bad karma is leading her to a lot of bad health. You and your DM press charges in the 5D, all right? And it's resulting into this bitch having bad health or her being... um. I'm getting indicted. Wow. All right. I feel like the court may order for her to go to a mental institution here. Somebody may lose their kids. All right. Because they're mentally insane. This could be the third party. Okay. She's not even focused on her kids. All right. Um, a karmic family as well as cursed. These are generational curses. She, this bitch cursed the whole entire generation here. And I feel like, I feel like. A lot more is going to be revealed to you about this karmic in their family in the distance horizon, okay? Maybe, you know, this new moon, this spring equinox, okay? You guys may receive a huge download about this, which is going to give you clarity, okay? Because some of y'all being concerned about this, like, what's really going on around you, and Spirit's going to confirm it soon, all right? You're trying to figure out what's going on around you and your divine masculine. Spirit is confirming it now. These bitches want your person because of his prosperity, his wealth, what's, what he's attracting, all right, along his path. It's like you and your person are meant to be rich. This is your birthright. Yeah, and I feel like this bitch lost a lover. Somebody could be widowed. Okay, this bitch lost a lover. This is the thing. Uh, this could be, you know, your person's ex. All right, but for a lot of you guys, this could just be, I'm getting like a random, like a random broad that's trying to say that she is your person's ex. All right, but for some of you guys, you know, it's different. But I'm just getting, like, it's a random girl trying to say, like, I am your person's ex. Like, random ass bitches. And that might not even be true. She just may want to fuck with you. All right? And she may just want your man. So she's saying that shit, hoping that will cause chaos. This bitch is chaotic. She, um, mm, she got to go. All right? I feel like whatever work she try to put in, all right, try to, whatever work she try to put in in the 3D is not going to matter in the 5D because I feel like she, she crossed out all of her chances when she started fucking with you and your person all right your person has this like crowning this important crowning all right and i feel like you know that crowning can't be fucked with all right this bitch is poor all right y'all dealing with a poor bitch all right and she's trying to steal your person's money all right i'm getting legacy as well she wants his children so she can stay attached to the bloodline she's not receiving any damn money all right, your ancestors is with this high honor is making sure this bitch don't receive no fucking money. All right, I'm getting she was doing binding spells with a with an older woman. All right, they both was doing spell work on y'all relationship. These bitches just didn't want to see you happy because you the privileged lady. God blessed you and made you the privileged lady on this earth, and you protected. They ain't like that. You've been listen since a child. You've been privileged. You've been gifted since a child. You've been 
privileged to have these gifts since a child. Like, karmics hate that you're privileged. That's the problem. Not just this karmic Jezebel, but karmics overall. They hate that you're privileged. All right? They hate that you're privileged here. This is why this bitch is facing so much karma, because you're privileged. All right? Uh. Yeah, that's why her karma is so bad. All right, yeah, I feel like she's getting exposed with the movie verse. She's getting exposed for attacking a child. A karmic is getting exposed for attacking your child. She's getting cursed for that. She's listen. She's in, she's stuck in psychosis. I'm getting that with the seven of cups. It's pretty obvious that this bitch is mentally unstable. That she's confused. All right. She's under psychosis. She's. I'm getting like a psychedelic as well. All right. I'm. I'm getting. I'm not getting high though. She's not high. She's not like on cloud nine. Like <laughs> she could be popping pills and it got her delirious. Okay. It got her in this disillusionment, confused as hell and perplexed here. She's very perplexed. Her vision is bad. Her spiritual eye is really bad. I would not trust anything. Don't use that. That's a scam. It's found it first. Yeah, I feel like it's heavy. On her heart that you figured out she was trying to scam you. Y'all, listen, the third party was trying to scam you. All right, turn that down. So having the cups here, yeah, look, she's unhappy. People can clearly tell that she's unhappy, and this is why she's delusional, and she likes to, you know... You know, you two as a scapegoat, victimize people for hurting her because she's unhappy in her life. It's pretty obvious. All right. This, yeah, look, completely baffled, very puzzled. This woman is puzzled, whoever she is. She's very puzzled. Like, you know, she's just off. You know, she's, she's uncertain, filled with uncertainty. She's uncertain here, and I feel like she's full of difficulty. This is a difficult-ass person. All right, it's like, and I feel like, you know, there's a masculine saying that about her, or this could even be a police as well, it's like, either the police can tell she's difficult or a masculine saying like she's a difficult person. Like, her vision is perplex. That's what I'm getting. It's confused, all right? Like, and look at her eyes, perplex, like, you know, perplex. I said perplex, perplex. Like, you know, it says here she gave him a, a, a perplex look here. So, it's like, the look was just, like, crazy. All right? Like, this person's third eye is bad. I would not trust anything they pick up out their third eye. Because the shit is poison. I'm telling you, it's blocked. They got about like seven damn hexes blocking their third eye. And this is not because of you. This is because they're karmic. They lost their damn gifts. If they had any clairs, all right? Because, you know, we have up to four to five, sometimes six. All right? Some even say seven clairs. They're gone. Them bitches is blocked. Them, <laughs> them bitches is there. Them, them bitches is blocked. But I meant to say they're clairs. They're blocked here. I feel like they must just walk away from spirituality or using their gifts. I'm telling you, they're, they're cursed. They're crossed up and cursed with a lot of poison. Let Look, five of cups, man. They're dirty, too. They're very dirty. Like They're like a pig. God turned this karma, this karmic into swine. That's a part of their karma. God turned them into swine. All right, I told y'all this a few damn... Um, I told y'all a few months ago that a karmic turned the... Ugh, God turned the karmic into swine here. Pigs. All right, this bitch is a pig here. She could be eating her own damn shit right now because she she's deprived. All she eat is her shit. God turned it into a damn pig here. All right, and this bitch was still testing God even after she got turned into a pig. So now she got death coming upon her because obviously that's not enough karma for her ass. You a rainbow. She can't come for you. Even if she try to dim your light, you still going to break out of that shit. All right, yeah, look, no weapon form against you shall prosper with this two of swords. That her spell work was blocked. You're protected. You did not allow that damn demon to get you. What's wrong with her? That shit was reversed back. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands. It's like you sent it back. Your magic sent it back. And look, you and your, your family is happy. You and your kids is happy. Even your ancestors, they happy. Like, yeah, send that shit back. Put this to rest and, shit and send it back. That bitch is whack, man. That hoe is whack. And then for a lot of you guys, y'all don't even need to do bad to senders. All you need to do is just pray. Saying intention for it to be sent back, and that shit is sent back. All right, honestly, and the bitch is like filled with restrictions. The bitch is restricted, restricted asshole, restricted hoe. That's what she is. She's restricted, man. Look, stuck at a hole, can't move forward. She can't come towards your home. I'm getting she's being stopped. Er, she's trying to come 
towards your home, mess up your heaven on earth. She got to stop. Er, nope, you can't come. She can't even get off the exit. All right. Nope. She got to go a different route. And when she try to go a different route, all right, there's another blockage there. Like, bitch, we watching you. All right. This is Spirit singing this song to the Carmen. I'll be watching you. Same way how you were stalking my child. <laughs> all right. We have my grandchild. Yeah, your ancestors ain't playing. That's what your ancestors are saying. Because they look at you as a child or this could be actual grandparent. All right. They're like, you stalked my child. And this is God, too. You stalked my child. But this long, I'll be, I'm going to be watching you, all right, for the rest of your life, even after you die. All right? God is like, and the Spirit is like, I'll be watching you. Do, 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 do. Every move you make. Every breath you take. <laughs> I, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics. Every something, something, something. I'll be watching you. Hold on, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> Every breath I... Wait, no. No, that's not even it. Oh, well. I forgot how it go. With the title of it. What's his name? Randy Hall? No, isn't it by somebody else? But anyway, that was God and Spirit saying to the Carmen. I'll be watching you. Do, 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 do. That's literally what I'm hearing. That damn beat. Okay. <laughs> and it's on repeat. Like, spirit, like, I gotta find the lyrics. It's on repeat. I'm telling you. What is it? Is it song by the police? Yeah, here we go. Every breath you take, every move you make. Every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. <laughs> that is what the spirits and God is singing on repeat. I'm telling y'all, there's not no reason to lie on Father God and say this. Like, y'all got to understand the connection with, with Christ and how he, you know, he really plays a role in our life. And he really will get down like this and send the karmic signs through music. <laughs> And this is one of them. Every breath you take. <laughs> Every move you make. Yeah, the, the karma is being stopped by Father God and your ancestors themselves. Okay, they should be honored that God is watching them the way that he's watching them. It may not be the way that they want it, but it's happened. I mean, you watch all of us anyway, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? They should be honored. Listen, they are not an honorable impress. They failed. Whack. Okay, you whack. You whack for trying to steal another person's man. You're mad for accusing someone for trying to take your man. You're whack for being sarcastic. You're whack for working by the group of threes and more to take us down. You just whack because it's like you can't rest now. You unrested. You can't heal from this. You can't. We it's like you can't come. You can't come back from this. That's the type of I'm getting. Like they can't come back from this. They were so jealous and insecure. They was threatened by your happiness. Threatened by the fact that you're ascending here. Threatened by the fact that you're talking to someone new. You're building with someone new. You're building a new love connection and you're keeping it silent to yourself. You may not be speaking much about it. Maybe you're speaking cryptic about it, but you're not saying much. Motherfuckers mad because they want the whole tea. And you're not giving them, you're not even giving them a sip. All right, maybe a drop, if that. All right, but it's like, like I said, you're cryptic with it. So they can't even figure it out. It's like, I'm getting a vibe of, you're like, just know I'm happy. You know, just know when we're intimate, we're good you know we're excited to be around each other we're joyful you know we're both interested in each other these motherfuckers mad i'm telling you rather the bitch got a man or she don't all right or it's a friend or whoever it is an ex they're mad because you are happy and they're trying to say that you are crazy for being with this person all right listen five of swords is here in reverse i'm getting this is your energy you are not like at brawl with this person and you was not trying to win at all costs okay you know they're gonna face karma for whatever the fuck they're doing this is a third party with the three of cups all right, well, this is them doing, doing rituals. You know that they're going to receive karma for doing spells. So you don't need to throw spells back. You, need, don't, you don't need to lie or slander. Try to set them up in return. Because whatever they're doing is 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 is, is good enough for them to receive karma. It's like whatever they're doing alone is going to get them some good-ass karma. So you don't need to do all that extra shit, okay? And plus, God is watching. Like, why would you Why you need to intervene with, with, with what God is doing for you? I mean, like, honestly, God is watching this, this broad. All right, every breath she take, every move she make. <laughs>
like God is watching. You don't have to worry about this broad. So you getting, you know, scooping to her level to do spell work is dumb. Or the slander to talk about her is dumb. I feel like the broad feels dumb because she she realizing how immature that is and how she's not cool for that and how her ass stinks. Nobody give a fuck about her or her spell work. All right, excuse my language, YouTube and, and everybody, but it's true. I'm just speaking the facts. Like, I feel like she feels stupid because she's realizing that nobody give a damn about all that extra stuff. All right, she, you know, she, she's just stupid. Shit. God said I'll be watching you, Karmic. <laughs> All right, but I love y'all so much. Namaste.